Hey, it's Jen. Today we're gonna make some garlic chicken. Uh, another very Hawaiian plate lunch classic. And it's pretty much just fried chicken that you toss in a sauce afterwards. So you can substitute making it a little bit more spicy, a little bit more sweet. You can just alter the flavors, but basically it's fried chicken and who doesn't love fried chicken? All right, let's get started. So what we need for this are some chicken thighs that we're gonna bread in flour and cornstarch. And then we're gonna make just a super garlicky soy sugary sauce um, with soy sauce, sugar, garlic, and ginger. Simple. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is make our sauce. I want this one to really be straightforward on the garlic with a little bit of soy and a little bit of sweetness to back it up. You can always add spice in adding chili or sambal or anything more Korean gochujang um, to get it really spicy or you can add some Thai chili flavors, um, but we're just gonna do kind of a, a basic teriyaki base. So we'll add our soy, about a half a cup there, and the same amount of sugar, and then our chopped up garlic. It is called garlic chicken for a reason, so we're gonna put a ton of garlic and some ginger. One of the cool things about ginger is that it freezes really well. So if you ever have a, a knob of ginger that you buy from the grocery store, you can always peel it, chop it up, and put it in your freezer, and it works just the same. So we'll give it a mix. Make sure that that all gets incorporated. Nice. And we'll give it a taste. You really just want it to be sweet and sticky. It's good. All right, we're all set. All right, so now let's prep our chicken. We're just gonna cut them up into bite-sized pieces. So probably about, let's say, what is that, an inch cube? Just nice and bite-sized. You wanna get some really easy bites. So that way we get it coated in all the sauce really nice and well. All right, so now that our chicken is cut up, we're gonna ready to dredge in our flour mixture. I've got about a cup of flour, half a cup of cornstarch, and I seasoned it with salt pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. You wanna make sure that you have all of that flavor as close to the chicken as possible. And what this does, the cornstarch makes it a little bit lighter than just our normal flour. And so you get a nice like airy texture. And then when we season the flour, again, it's making just a really good fried chicken that will again layer with seasonings and flavor um, in the sauce afterwards. But you could just serve it as a plain fried chicken as well. So now that our flour is mixed, let's just go ahead and dredge the chicken. Make sure it gets all nice and coated in that flour. So now that our oil is up to temp, let's fry. Anytime we fry, we always wanna make sure that we have some place for it to land. I always like to use a cookie sheet with um, a rack so that way the oil doesn't soak back into the food. So here we go. Now our chicken's looking about done. We want that really light golden brown color. It's a little bit on the lighter side because we added that cornstarch. They're perfect. We don't want them to dry out too much. So we'll put them on the tray so they can rest. So it, it's ready. You can eat your chicken just like this. You want to sprinkle with a little bit of salt when it comes out of the fryer. Um, but we could also toss it in our really awesome sauce. So now that our chicken is fried up, we just toss it in the sauce. And 
and you just toss to coat. And it's ready. And there you have it. Some garlic chicken, always served with a little rice and mac salad. Check out my other YouTube video for how to make Hawaiian style mac salad. Let me know how it tastes. Comment.